Pistons fans, what's going on? It's your boy King. It's mid-season time. It's time for us to get a report and give our opinion and our thoughts to our young core, to our young guys on this team. We are halfway there. Even though it's been a very, very turbulent season, a lot of injuries in the beginning of the season, a lot of safety protocol situations that we're currently still in right now. Um, it's been up and down. It's a lot of rotational movement, nothing consistent. It's been rough. But throughout all of that, some of these guys have still prevailed and took steps forward. We're going to highlight those each individual by one. Today, episode one, Sadiq Bay. <laughs> Pistons fans, let's dive in to our very own Sadiq Bay, man. Uh, the guy I feel like that just doesn't get enough respect as far as one of our young core members. Uh, for some reason, a lot of the fan base just don't believe that him and Katie can both be great players. Um, but Sadiq Bay just taking a jump that he took from last season to this season and, you know, improving some of his all around uh, game. You know, like I said, his work ethic is is crazy. A lot of guys don't walk into the league the way that Sadiq Bey does with the maturity that he has um, and a drive that he has to get better every single game. So um, even though he has his stretches where, um, you know, he may have an off night here and there, uh, you also get the explosions like last night, 31 points from Sadiq Bey. And all everyone talked about was, K. Cuddyham's triple double, which is also a great thing. Don't get it twisted, but you know, I kind of feel like you get brushed under the rug sometime um, and put in the back of the spotlight. You know, you can't forget the performance that he put on when all of those guys were out due to protocol, uh, when him and, and Hamadou Diallo were playing some of the best basketball we've seen from both of them. Sadiq Bey rose to the occasion and took on that challenge. And I just feel like he just doesn't get his due and the respect that, uh, you know, Sadiq Bey deserves. So we're going to look into this situation. Obviously, um, this season, when you look in totality, 15.6 uh, points. Uh, let's see, two and a half assists and about a good five rebounds per game is where he's at right now. So obviously, you know, those numbers probably be a lot higher. But we all know what happened at the beginning of the season with our team. Everybody was just in this funk. Everybody was struggling. It was bad. And Sadiq Bay was one of those guys uh, going through a sophomore slump himself. And, you know, our fan base did the best job that they always do and turned up their backs on them. And uh, we had people that was rallying to trade him. So um, I believe all of those talks have went away, obviously, because of his play of late. Let's look at uh, some of these numbers. Okay, for instance, over the last 12 games, 18 points per game, four assists, uh, four rebounds, two and a half assists for uh, Sadiq Bey. Look at that split, 44, 38, 85 from the free throw line. So that's over the last 12 games. You, you know what, let's jump a little bit farther back. Over the last 23 games since Jeremy Grant, uh, let's see, 20 points, six rebounds, three assists, and that split 40. Uh, 3 27 89 over the last 23 games since Jeremy Grant. Uh, some of those numbers, uh, right there are amazing for a player that's in, uh, you know, his career a year and a half. You know, this is halfway in his second season, uh, going through a slump and all the turmoil and turbulence that we had this season. Uh, veterans not available, you know, all the COVID situation and the injuries early in the season, the slumps, everything. You just got to give him respect. You got to give, um, you know, Sadiq Bey the respect. Like I say, he walked into the door with a chip on his shoulder. Felt like he should have been drafted higher. A lot of people felt that way. It's amazing that the Pistons were able to get him, uh, you know, to make the moves to get him here. Uh, but like I said, where he was picked at, you know, he came into the league with a chip on his shoulder because Sadiq Bey felt like he was a better player. 
So coming into the league, Sadiq Bay walks in, you know, with the label of just a shooter, just a shooter, a three and D guy. That was it. Over the summer, Sadiq Bay went and made improvements and adjustments to his game, and it is very, very respectful to be able to see these improvements in in one off season. One off season, um, you know, the ability to attack the basket now and get to the free throw line, the ability to uh, you know shoot mid range jump shots and do mid range, uh, you know, post moves and. Uh, you know, like I said, just improving his rebound. And, you know, Sadiq Bay has been doing um, a lot of good things for the Pistons. You know, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet every night. Um, you know, some nights he might have an off night. But like I said, a year and a half into his career, you know, you kind of got to get a kid a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, I believe that's everybody on our team right now that's having these ups and downs like, you know, we've, we've talked about before. But Sadiq Bay is... Um, definitely has a chance to be a special player um, in this league. And like I said, you know, with the Twitter post that, you know, I popped up on the screen, you know, I, I had to bring him out first in this series. I already planned to do it, but perfect timing. So he comes out first. Uh, the comparisons, you know, the Tobias Harris, the Paul George, the Jason Tatum, uh, the Chris Middleton, those are some of the names that were coming up in the comment sections um, when I tweeted this thing out about Sadiq Bey. Um, so I put them up in a poll, and as you can see, the response from the fan base, they think that this is Sadiq Bay's ceiling. When you look at Sadiq Bay's number through two years, we're halfway through this year. He's already surpassed a lot of those guys in the second year of their career, their NBA careers. Uh, some of them didn't even get the opportunity to be in a starting lineup. You got to give him his kudos for that. Also, all rookie, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, when you look at it, yeah, you got some of the guys there. They're a little bit more athletic, like Paul George, you know what I'm saying, Jason Tatum, sure. Sadiq Bey is no slouch with athleticism. I don't understand why people think he's not athletic. Just because you don't jump out the gym does not mean you're not athletic. I mean, we've seen him, uh, you know, get to the basket and, and get up there and, you know, use his strength. Um, around the basket. That's definitely been something he's been doing. Like I said, he's been getting to the free throw line. So, um, you know, like I said, we just have to, you know, give this kid his respect. Um, it's no way in two to three years you're going to tell me that Sadiq Bey, um, you know, is just going to cap out around where he is right now. I believe he has much more to improve. Um, you know, taking these opportunities during the offseason, Sadiq Bey is not going to waste them. He's going to work on his game. He's going to improve his dribbling. We've seen some of it early in the season. Uh, but he's going to improve his dribbling. He's going to improve his approach uh, to get to the basket. It's just going to continue to, to improve. So I don't like, you know, these early caps that our fan base seem to put on these players and try to tell you what these players are going to be and how far they can go when a lot of these people never even touch the basketball in their lives. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, with Sadiq Bey, I truly believe his ceiling can be as good as he wants it to be. It depends on, you know, you know his his drive and his ability to continue to add things to his game. Um, you know, the three-point shooting, obviously he walked in the door with that. Uh, the defense definitely trying to improve with that. It's only going to get better once we do get the help we need in the paint. Uh, a lot of, you know, help side situations and things like that, perimeter defending. Um, you know, like I said, the rebounding, the assist, being able to, you know, also pass the ball, that's only going to get better once we get a better flow with this offense. You know, a lot of Sadiq base numbers right now, even though they're really, really good over the last 20 games, um, listen, it's going to get better once the, the Pistons get more and more flow with this offense, more complete roster, uh, you know, and get into that groove of what they want to do. But him and Kay Cunningham can definitely coexist and they can definitely be uh, both, both stars in this league man uh, it's the difference between a star and a superstar and I, I put it out that you know Sadiq Bey uh, could definitely be a star in this league he can definitely make some all-star games in the future so it's uh, no way you're gonna put a cap on him and, and, and tell me that with a, a straight face that you know you don't believe that he can do those things so um, you know much respect and much love to Sadiq Bey um, I am really really behind him you know, I, I really, really want to see him be as successful as possible, not just from a Pistons, stand, a Pistons fan standpoint, um, 
but just overall, man, because he's a really, really good young man. Um, you know, like I said, the maturity level and, you know, the passion that he does have for the for the game. You know, I, I truly appreciate players like that. Um, I am going to give him this message, though. Don't you leave that damn headband in Detroit again. <laughs> Without the headband, he was, man, he was struggling. <laughs> Uh, with that said, man, this is part one, episode one in this series of the midseason reports for our young guys on the Pistons team, man. So let me know uh, if you love it, Sadiq Bay so far. Um, you know, if he's turned the tide in your heart. <laughs> um, and let's give him his, his just due, man. Let's give him his respect. Um, Sadiq Bay, continue to do your thing, brother. We watch it.